Uh, Jeff Judkins is in studio. His team's 10-3. and They are crushing it. 2-0 and in league play. Welcome back to uh, Studio B, and congratulations on the 2-0 start in league play. Well, thanks. It's, yeah. uh, it's nice to be able to start your two games on the road and in the league and be able to play and win those games. Uh, both Santa Clara and San Francisco are their scary team because one of them zones and the other one pressures. And we haven't swept that trip for a while, so it's really nice that uh, we came out and be able to do it. One of the things that we wanted to make sure we talked to you about, and you and I have talked about her quite a bit. We were talking about before the, the segment began. It's the play of Shaylee Gonzalez. She's fifth nationally in points per game among all freshmen. You've talked to me about how she could be one of the greats to play here. Why do you think her learning curve has been so quick? Well, first of all, she's played for a great coach, and that's her mom. Uh, her, <laughs> nice. mom her mom was a great player herself, and I think her mom pushed her and made her do things that maybe were uncomfortable. And she's been on a good team, and she's been – um, with good players, and she's played, a, she's played a lot of basketball, and things have come naturally to her, but she's worked very, very hard. She's, she's a gym rat. She studies the game. She practices. She's, she's one of those players that just gives it her all. And, uh, you know, she seems to play better in big games, you know, games or we need to get a basket. She seems to relish that. And um, that, you know, there's few people that have that trait, you know, and Hopefully she can maintain that and keep that up. Uh, she's going to get more people looking at her to do that, probably the opposing team. And so, but she's very unselfish. And you know, um, you guys kind of mentioned, hey, you got to get her more shots so she can. <laughs> you know, she has a green light to do what she wants, but she's a team player and she wants to get her teammates involved. Does she have the Jeff Judkins? Yeah, it's the green Jud light. Judkins shade like, does of she, green. Does she have this, the green light like you had the green light? I never had the green light. <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I, I do in Ward Ball, but I don't, you know. But, um, you know, I, I think Shaylee knows what she's capable of doing. And she, ha she, can, she can do what she needs to do to help this team win. If she doesn't, she hears from it from me. You know, I'll say, hey, that's not – it's not a good play. It's not what you need to be doing. I doubt you say it like that, though. I don't say it quietly that nice, but <laughs> um, but you know, she. I'll tell you the thing I love about Shaylee is is she's she's very coachable. You know, when you have success, sometimes you start thinking you're all that, but she is willing to learn and listen and try to get better. And she really she cares about winning. That's that's what her main thing is. Talking to Jeff Judkins, women's basketball coach on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, you play uh, Pepperdine uh, coming up here at home on BYU TV. LMU as well on BYU TV Thursday, Saturday. What will be the key to getting to 4-0 in league play? Well, Pepperdine is a very scary team because they have one of the most offensive best players in the league. She scored 49 points in a game this year. So um, is the 47-49 against Sac State, and so – it's kind of scary with that. Plus, Pepperdine comes in playing very well over the weekend. They beat Portland, and they, the Gonzaga score is really not what what really happened. Gonzaga blew them out the last quarter. Um, so that's a scary game. LMU has beaten Arizona and UCLA. Has done very well in preseason, and they just kind of went through a small spurt where they lost some games. But they're a scary team. They have uh, a really good player in green who – was an all-conference player last year, and she causes a lot of problems. So, And we don't have a lot of time to prepare. You know, It's not like we can go in there and do all this stuff. We have to do some adjustments to both these guys, and hopefully we can be able to come on top. It would be a big plus for us to be able to get both of these games. Uh, Shaylee Gonzalez, Brenda Chase, Paisley Johnson playing a lot of minutes. In fact, those three are three in the top five of the most minutes played in the league. How do you balance that knowing that you need the production but also needing to get production from the bench and, and kind of, you know, well, playing that? Jason, has a great question because a lot of people look at that and they question why they're playing so many minutes. I'm going to tell you right now, first of all, those three are in the best shape of anybody in our team. They, they, you know, I'll pull them out if they're tired. They're not tired. Timeouts, foul shots, whatever it is, they're in, in, in incredible shape. So – I, you know, if they're not tired, why why not play them? I mean, you know, I, I mean, it's it's you know, I I love to get a bench. And Maria has come in and played for those three, 
And Maria has been very, very solid because she comes in and executes and does what we need her to do. And she's had some experience starting and all those things. So I really have that four-man rotation. I'd like to get one more guard in it. I know Ashley Beckstrand is, is really trying to get better at things that she's trying to do. And, you know, Caitlin came in and started a couple of games for me early. Uh, those two are kind of getting the mix of maybe they'll get some get some time. But I, I see that stat and I'm going, do I need to be careful with it? But I look at it and I'm going, they don't get tired. I mean, they they have a lot of energy. I mean, they wanted to practice New Year's Day. I mean, they wanted to. They played 38 minutes the game before. That's the kind of players they are. So um, hopefully we can do a little bit better of trying to spread it out a little bit. But uh, right now it's – it's working. It's so, working. So stay with it. <laughs> did you practice New Year's Day? We did. We did. They wanted to. You know, I. I kinda, were you going to not practice? And, I really and thought about to? not because I thought of the travel and everything. And but... you wanted to watch the Rose Bowl, right? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> yeah. No, not really. But uh, no, but I, I just, I, they wanted to do it because I think they all feel like that they want to continue to get better. And it wasn't like a big long practice, but. They, they practice, you know, like your Iverson practice, practice, you know, I mean, they practice. Not so. a game, not a game. Yeah, yeah. so um, I think that's, that's the kind of team we have. Like, we have a very close team right now, and they they're, they really are pulling for each other. Talking to Jeff Judkins on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, we just talked about the men's basketball team at length and kind of defensively the adjustments they need to make. What's the key as a coach to getting your team to play the best defense they can on ball and then, of course, help defense? Well, I, I think one thing is is preparation and how you have time to work on the things that you want to do. Um, I'll tell you right now, it's very hard, hard during the holidays. People don't realize it. it, it, it okay. First of all, our, our finals are the week later. So everybody's finals is the week ahead of ours. They never want to play, so you can't play anybody, so you got to sit out. So, okay, then our week, our finals come. Everybody wants to play, but we have finals. And then we don't, we try to let our athletes study for finals. You know, we don't practice as long. So now you've gone two weeks, and I think that affects your team defensively where you can't work on things that you want to do. And, and then you don't have enough time to, to prep because you're playing all these games back-to-back -back quickly, and then that, that hurts. Like with, for us, we're playing four games in seven days. Now, what did I do? I scheduled preseason five games in nine days for this stretch. That's what I did it for, is that it can prepare us and things that we needed to tweak a little bit, we can tweak. And that's, that's why we did it. Well, we look forward to the BYU Pepperdine game tomorrow night, 9 Eastern on BYU TV. Jeff, we always appreciate the time. Yeah, let's get some fans out of this game. and gives Absolutely. Let's get us some energy for Show us. up in the Marriott Center tomorrow night. Uh, it's a sort of doubleheader in that the uh, men are on the road two hours later, so you can go watch the women. Yeah. You can listen or watch uh, the men as well. That'd be great. Awesome. Thanks, thank you, Okay, thanks, guys. Jeff. Appreciate it.